All right, we are live, but give me one second because I want to share on all the platforms. Where's my coffee? Oh, he needed a coffee. Uh, we, uh, does anybody out there got a coffee? That's what I want to know. Is there a coffee out there? Okay. It's very important that we Alex, take it. We talked about this. We, There's certain things that, you know, that, you, gotta, that, you, you have to. Uh, the only way you were going to come. To, the yeah. only way we were going to come. I agree. I agree. All right. I just shared it now. Also, we got a couple people watching already. Uh, for those, there we go. I'm going to get the questions ready. All right. Uh, yeah, he was, I think he was being sarcastic about the coffee because he really did get up to grab some coffee, but he was grabbing some tea. All right, how's it going, everybody? Sorry about that. I just wanted to share on a couple of my pages. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. A good evening. It is 6 o'clock. Um, where we just got done watching the Suns Lakers game. Uh, Anthony Davis got hurt, um, but we're not here to talk about the Suns Lakers. Uh, series is tied two two though. Uh, but we're in the building. We are here with Fahmi Tony Hussein. Yeah. Um, very important discussion that live we are going to have live today. Live set of motivate me three one three. Yes, live set of motivate me three one three. You know Tony is from the Fantasy Guys, uh, but he also in, August uh, first. Today is going to be all about uh, throwing in as many promos as we can. There we go. Um, we got Fantasy Guys. We got Coney Cafe. All day grub in. Grub in. Over under on uh, how many times Coney Cafe and grub in is going to be mentioned today. Yes, exactly. And the thing and is... Those that took the under, they don't know me. <laughs> the, the line was six and a half, Tony. No, the line was ten. Ten. There we go. The line was ten. All right. So with that said, uh, how's everybody doing? Um, if you're watching now or if you're going to watch later, uh, today's discussion is to talk about Online harassment, online bullying. Is there any reason why I shouldn't be reading these comments on Instagram or myself? I'm just curious. You should not. Okay. You should uh, not because the discussion is about trying your best to avoid falling into that situation where you are reading comments and actually we're well, gonna let you answer that. What better way than to read them and show live how I handle them? Well, you want to know the good thing about it? We got it right in front of us. So we can read them for you if you okay. want, Tony. Or if you don't want us to, just give me that thumbs up, no, Tony. No, 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 no. I, I like to hear all the, all the comments. All right. Um, Tony Bastion started on the LOL League very early. Uh, I started back up about two nights ago. So, you know. Definitely, definitely. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, so like I said, first of all, for those that don't know who Fahmi is, all right? Uh, Fahmi is a business owner, community activist, family man, my cousin, and just an all-around great guy. Uh, but like I was mentioning before, uh, we thought that he would be the great, per great person to have this discussion today because he does deal with a lot of bashing as he would, he's shaking his head. No, uh, but we're in group chats. Everybody bashes Tony. You got the fantasy guys. If you guys want to go and check out the videos on Facebook and Instagram, half of the comments is about Tony. Uh, everything's about Tony, you know, being a business owner, I'm but sure, let's not make this about Tony. but let's not make this about yeah. Tony. Exactly. But, you know, being a business owner, I'm sure you've uh, heard things from people and stuff, all that. So he'll be a great guy. He'll be a great guy. <laughs> he'll be a great guy to talk to about this. And he wants uh, a tea, cup of coffee. Too. Yeah, we'll give him some too. tea. We'll give him some tea. Yeah. Um, so like I said, today we're discussing the importance of dealing with criticism, online harassment, bullying, and many others. This is a topic that you can have your kids watch. Adults, I'm sure, deal with this. Anybody out there um, that, that just has internet or social media or just in general, um, this is going to be a good conversation to have you know, on how he deals with it and maybe he can help somebody out there that eventually watches this video. So with that said, Tony, first of all, I hope you're enjoying your Sunday and hoping you're enjoying your weekend. Man, today, today's been unbelievable. Why is that, Tony? Um, I feel like you know, I, you know, I've had cameras... Thank you. We got T from our uh, 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 video director as well, by the way. Appreciate that. But go ahead. It's supposed to be 140 degrees. <laughs> at least. People, like 138. Pe people are going to know why they bash Tony if you keep this up, Tony. Um, uh, why they oh, bash you. So let me tell you, my day started off, uh, you know, by the grace of God, alhamdulillah, I woke alhamdulillah. up. Um, you know, we went to a hoop session with, with the guys. Uh, once again, I'm starting to realize why people bash me so much is because we keep winning. Okay. Um, played with, you know, some great individuals today. Um, as soon as I pulled up, the bashing started very early. 
I walk into the gas station over on Exxon. It's the first one. There you go. And uh, over on the corner of Kona and Knip. Noted Dean, shout out. All right, I thought we were going to Kona Cafe another oh, one. Yeah, okay. on the street. Okay. It's 0. 0.25 <laughs> miles away from Kona Cafe. So we walk in there, and I say good morning. The guy's like, oh, man, why are you so happy? I'm like, man, already? Good morning to you, too. <laughs> right? So I grab a cup of coffee, get ready. It's about 10 o'clock. I pull up. Mo Sufi. Like, there's 10 guys there already. So as soon as I pull up, I see a parking lot right in, on the front, the first, you know, parking lot over there, uh, first parking space. So I'll, instead of parking down, you know, the building, I just, you know, park in the front like normal people. As soon as I pull up, Mo Sufi says, oh my God, look at this guy. There's 10 people here. He wants to show up. Now, granted, the door is not even open yet. He's like, he probably got here early and drove around and waited for everybody to come up to the front so he could pull up to a crowd. And he's referring to you, by the way. Of course. Not. Okay. So, it started super early. The bashing is what you're bashing, saying. Okay. Right away. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we were able to shut them up. Those veterans. Yes, it was a practice run for them, but... You know, we did very well against them. Uh, shout out to my teammates. I'm not even sure why I'm going on with this. Yeah. Story. I'm just telling you that <laughs> the day started off and this is how it went. But as the day progressed, I get here and, uh, you know, thank you know, your, your wife. She prepared uh, lunch and, uh, you know, I'm, going, I'm, I'm thinking, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, something's up. Well, I'm glad you asked, Tony. And, and, <laughs> let me tell you something. I knew something was up when Amila, your daughter, started saying, oh, Tony's coming over. <laughs> she never says that. So I figured something was up. As the day kept going, we went from lunch to hookah to fruit to tea. Well, like I was saying, I'm glad that you mentioned this, Tony, because it's time for us to speak the truth now, all right, Tony? You never wanted to do an interview with Motivate Me 303. You said, you said that you didn't want to have a sit-down interview. Well, this is the sit-down interview. No, I'm joking, Tony. In all seriousness, we are here to talk about something that's important. I know me and Tony are going to go back and forth and have good conversation. But it is a discussion that I realize that students are dealing with uh, every day. Um, and I just wonder if they are educated enough. You know, I hear, I mean, nowadays, kindergartners, first graders are on social media. I mean, YouTube is considered one of those things. And... They have their own YouTube channels. They have their own Facebook. I mean, not Facebook probably, but Instagrams. And, you know, and so they are seeing people comment on some of their things and they wonder why is this happening or where is it coming from or stuff like that. And I wonder if the parents are having this discussion with them on how to deal with people that are just there just to like be negative or bash you or talk about that stuff. So I thought that this would be a great conversation and no better than no better person to have than Tony on this one because, you know, all jokes aside, I mean, I know a lot of the times people are joking with him, but I feel like he does a great job of dealing with criticism. Um, everybody goes, even myself included, you know, we started the I Hate Tony campaign on Fantasy Guys, had face masks and everything. You know, obviously, sales, sales, were, very high. sales were high. So, it's all, it was all jokes and games, but there's ways that people can even deal with that, even joking around, and I think Tony does a great job with it. He, he actually absorbs that and Embrace it. embraces it. That's what I was looking for. He Absolutely. embraces it, and it's not easy. It's not easy to do. I admit that, so I appreciate you doing this, Tony, so if you're ready to go, we can get this interview started. I mean, the first question is tell us about yourself. We kind of introduced you, but is there something out there that people may not know about you that you, you want to talk about, Tony? I mean, people... Um, know that, uh, you know, I'm a fun-loving guy. <laughs> you know, Why is it like so hard for you to say that, Tony? Because here's my thing, right? You know, generally speaking, like, I was always the oldest one in the, in the group, right? But for some reason, um, I went from being two, three years older than everybody to, you know, five, six years. And as the years kept going, I, I would that, that margin kept growing. So at one point... People started to believe I was like 50 years old. Okay? Is so this a fact people. or a fiction? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm 42. So, um, yeah, alhamdulillah, uh, as you guys mentioned, Kona Cafe and Grub Inn. Um, I do a internship, unpaid, at uh, <laughs> Infinity Drugs. What number are we at? Five? Easy. Easily right? five. I think we're at five. Um, 
Also, do some sales over at Pearl Vision, right next door to Infinity Drugs. Six. So, um, yeah, that's just, that's just part of it, man. Alhamdulillah, like, try to keep myself involved in uh, everything. And uh, board member at Bridge Academy at 9600 Buffalo. Those Is that people, seven? It's re-enrollment time, so <laughs> those of you guys that are interested. Um, but, yeah, pretty, that, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, love playing sports and... You know, just kind of being around everybody. It's uh, I kind of went from playing against your uncles, and then started playing against, and then everybody's retiring all along the all, along the way. So pretty much, I'm gonna be playing ball with Yusuf and Zach, and they're already starting that trash talking. So you guys, uh, I've definitely taught them very well. There you go. All right. So my question to you now, to get this thing on the road now, is uh, why do you feel like? This is more about you, I guess, right now, and then maybe you can relate it to others. So why do you feel like people attack you in the messages groups? I know you kind of clear this up, well, but why do you easy. feel like it? Very easy. Uh, and, and, and by the way, I just want to mention on social media, the fantasy guys, you know, Tony doesn't really do much social media, but when we're on the fantasy guys, like, everybody gets, that's their opportunity to, like... That's why. So... They're not on there usually, so as soon as they get that chance, boom. You know, they by the way, Rashid, play. Rashid, shout out to Rashid, had a great post in Ramadan, you know, where I think your wife... Like, you gave a lot of sentences to the family, but that first three or four sentences were about how much, um, I don't know what's the right word to use in this situation, but anyways, all together, why do you... the question. Yes. Why do people bash you, Tony? Why do people bash me? Yes. One thing. One word. Love. I was going to say love. People do not know how to express their love. Some people do it in, you know, different ways. So rather than tell someone they love them... I mean, they bash. And to me, I look at it like it's in, you know, in a kind of a way of endearment. You know what I mean? Like, um, at the end of the day, it's nothing but love. I mean, do I feel like they hate me on the basketball court? That's a strong possibility. <laughs> um, but again, it's competition. So I respect competition when it's there. Um, but, you know, the way, you know, I know you asked me to do this, but the way... You know, they, people, like, bash me and all that. Like, I think it's all fun and games, and it's all love. It's it's nothing but. Um, but, you know, it's a serious, it's a very serious topic. And, you know, sometimes people, you know, even though they think they're trying to be funny and whatnot, like, sometimes it could be something serious, it's, you know, that someone's dealing with, you know, in another part of his life. And, um, and people just don't understand that. So I, I think people... You gotta be very careful when it comes to something like that. Um, as long as, like, if I, I'm pretty sure if someone's bashing me and um, they felt like they were kind of inflicting some hurt or some pain, uh, they, you know, they, they take a step back and they win it. Um, you know, it, with me, like I said, I think it's nothing. I always take it in, you know, in jest and, and, and fun. And uh, I think that's why people like, enjoy the back and forth the banter because it goes back and forth you know um, but people just, again just got to be careful uh, there are times where someone's dealing with something in his life that uh, you know you might not know you know like pr they probably do a, a great job of masking it you know and uh, I think just people should be very cautious and kind of be aware that all right maybe if that person takes it in, a, in one way or another then you should Definitely uh, stop. So, what do you think how people that are getting the criticism should deal with the criticism? How do you think they should approach that kind of criticism? I, I mean, mean, I, I know honestly, you're saying it's love and all, yeah, but sometimes me, it's not. Exactly. For you, yeah, for yeah, you it for is. Me, it's, I, I feel like it's all fun. It's all fun, games. And, but, you know, uh, you know I, I'm in, it's the responsibility is going to go on the person kind of doing it. You know, it, bullying comes in a variety of ways that it's not intentional at times. You know, there are times where it could be intentional, but there are a lot of times where, um, unfortunately, like you, I could be joking with somebody and, um, you know, they might take it the wrong way. So I, I'll take a step back and, and try to explain myself and apologize if I offended them. And um, if it's, you know, and I, that's definitely something that I, won't, I wouldn't do anymore. I mean, I, the perfect example is, well, man, I'm not over here. So, for a long time, for years, you know, he, he was living across the street from me. And, um, 
you know, all I'd hear in the morning, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, is this guy going off on his brothers and, you know, he's, you know, baseball. Get your club down! You know what I mean? So, um, I would yell from the, you know, my bedroom window, like, you know, shut the hell up. Trying to go to sleep. (laughs) What's wrong with you? You know, I mean, but, you know, it was something playful between me and him that every time I had a chance to bring it up, I would bring it up. So one day we're chilling at Motiz where things do happen, and that is number eight, Motiz. And um, this guy, he's right next to me. So we're all joking. It's me and his brothers. And, and, I, and I said, yeah, man, you know, stop yelling at the kids, bro. Like, even in Dearborn Heights, they're going to, they, you know, they're going to say something to you. And this guy snaps, like totally, he just snaps on me. And then I'm just like, oh, man, I had a nerve. His brother Ali looked at me like, all right, that didn't go well, right? So, you know, just to kind of explain, you know, he was like, oh, man, you're always doing this. Well, I mean, you, you're right there. You know, you're like, you're always doing this. I'm like, hey, man, listen, I'm doing it. It's like, there's no doubt in my mind that when I do it, it is just being, you know, just joking around. There's nothing serious about what I'm saying, but, you know, um, ultimately, I explained to you, like, in, in, in no way did I even think that that was my view on it. You know what I mean? So, I apologize to you, and I, I mean, based on what's going on today with lunch and, you know, the tea and, and all this, you know, I, I feel like, you know, apology accepted. Yeah. I mean, it happened months ago, but still. There you go. There you go. But uh, definitely, definitely appreciate that and the way you're uh, approaching on how to answer, um, how to deal with criticism. So my question to you now is, what advice would you give to someone on how to, I know you kind of touched on bullying and harassment, um, and it's going to be in person, by the way. So let's start off with in person and let's start off then with, uh, um, you know, online. Okay. So let's say someone comes up to you saying that they were being bullied or that they were being harassed by friends and stuff like that. So how would you tell that person to approach that situation in person, face to face? I mean, in person, I mean, look, there's, there's different ways to approach it, right? Um, you can start off by talking to the individual. It all depends on really the, um, extent of the bullying. Um, if you feel like, that bullying is, you know, unintentional, then the best way to approach it is to talk to somebody, to, is to talk to that person and say, hey, listen, uh, you know, I don't want you joking around. Um, because sometimes, you know, you feel like one person's viewpoint is he's laughing with you and you take it as he's laughing at you. So, um, you know, with me, like I said, uh, it, I always view it as you're laughing with me. Um, but there are times where it is, you know, the person does take it like he's laughing at you and he's mocking you and whatnot, but approach that individual and and tell them that, um, you know, you don't appreciate it and he should stop. And if that person doesn't stop, then you probably get one of your mutual friends, you know, like you should always speak on it, you know, like having it buried inside and, and kind of, um, you know, festering is never a good thing. But that's what happens. Yeah, you know, that's definitely what that's happens. what happens with a lot of people is that they keep it inside and Absolutely. they deal with that that way, and, and that's the problem. But yeah, continue. I'm sorry, Tony. I was wanting no, to. No, it's share. okay. I, I'm just uh, realizing. Uh, you know, uh, there's kiwi in front of me, and uh, I could have swore one time I told you I was allergic to kiwi. <laughs> so I'm I'm kind of starting. You know, again, this is me expressing to you like what's going on. <laughs> But um, yeah, again, there's if, if it's someone that's a little bit younger, you know, talk to a big brother, big sister, if they're, you know, not available. Talk to a parent, always a teacher. I mean, you know, I know some great teachers um, that, that are always willing to listen. You know, teachers are, are there now with, you know, some students being in school. Uh, teachers are there, you know. They, you know, not for the for the money. They do it for the love of trying to be there, kind of having those kind of impacts on 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 kids. Definitely, definitely. So then, off of that question, oh, actually, I that was in person. So how about online? Because that's the one that it's hard because obviously you can't do what you just said because some of these people have fake profiles and some of these people are from another country commenting or from another state. So how would you give advice to people that are dealing with uh, um, people? online bullying 
I mean, look, I, I always, I've always looked at it like when you put your private life or, you know, anytime you're putting your life out there, um, you're going to expect criticism, you know, um, there's going to be some positive comments and there's going to be some negative comments. Um, I'm the type of person that, you know, um, with social media, people always try to put their, you know, highlights like Jesse, uh, we had him on the show before. He's a, it's, it's a highlight reel, right? So just because everybody's always, you know, putting their positivity out there and they're living the good life. I mean, there, there, a lot of people are dealing with, with different things. And, and like I said, it could be that person, you know, projecting maybe something in their own lives. So just look at the positive, you know, positive stuff. Try to ignore all the negative stuff. Um, you're going to get your good and your bad when, you, when you're, uh, you know, in social media and whatnot. So, I mean, you know what you're doing it for. Um, you're doing it to get positive reinforcement. I mean, if, if that's, you know, what you, if that's your thing, then, you know, you should care about the people that are, you know, directly involved with you and, you know, those closest to you. Yeah, definitely. So let me ask you this question. I know I'm going to go deeper into this now, man, but, you know, because we've heard stories about people that are dealing with cyberbullying. I mean, heck, yeah, my wife was even commenting cyberbullying because she wanted this topic because she kind of had a situation too. So, like, in general, like, if you're saying kind of just deal with it or just erase it, but it's, it's sometimes it's not easy. It's not that easy to just, like, let it go. Um, and it's, it's starting to affect you. So then what? I mean, I, like I said, it's always best to talk to, to people. It's always best to talk to people. I'm letting it out. Don't let it, you know, fester and, you know, manifest just inside where it starts to build up and it starts affecting other aspects of your life. Uh, I mean, uh, from what I understand, she got a great husband, right? So if she's dealing with something like that, then, she, you know, she can go to him, um, talk about it, and it, it, he might give her just a different perspective. I mean, at the end of the day, anytime, like, I, me personally, I care about the people, you know, closest to me, what they think about me. So um, that's my take on it. I mean, if... Uh, you know, it gets a little bit deeper, it's just going to manifest, and it just grows, and, you know, kind of takes on uh, a, diff a role on its own, on its own. So, uh, let me ask you this question, you know, uh, social media offers, you know, to a way where people can delete comment, or like, not have uh, comments available for people, do you recommend that? Like, so basically, like, do a post, but people cannot comment on that post. Okay, I'm not too familiar. Is this on TikTok? Snapchat? No, this is this is probably on everything. I think Instagram. I don't know if Facebook offers. It. I know Instagram does and Twitter does. Uh, where like you can like not allow people to comment. Like, do you recommend doing that if somebody is I, dealing I, with? I feel like if you're um and like too involved in what people are saying, and you can't control your emotions when it comes to that then yeah that's that's an option if you want to continue to kind of post things and you know like uh, you know for motivate me 313 or you know the fantasy guys like, uh, if we can if if i feel like all right that's having an effect on my mental health then yeah absolutely why wouldn't i you know make comments unavailable um I do that all the time in the group chats that i'm an admin that's why they no longer make me an admin <laughs> so um there's a group like we play basketball, if I lose, I don't want to hear about it, right? So I just do admin only. Um, then they try changing a title, so I made that admin only. You know, they try to go around it. So when we win, oh yeah, it's live. <laughs> it's definitely live, you know. But again, when we're losing, I, I I do that, and then you know they forget about it the next day, and nobody really talks much about it. All right. So my next question is for the person that is doing the bullying, all right? What advice would you give someone who is doing the bullying and the harassment? So basically, somebody that is doing, that is bringing somewhat, I don't want to say harm, but kind of harm to other people's lives. Like, what's your advice to those people? In all honesty, I mean, look, uh, just it, it, to me, I look at it like you're kind of projecting, right? It's kind of a reflection of maybe some things that are bothering you. I mean, that's how I look at it. Um, 
it's it's a, it's a tough situation because again, in bullying bullying situations, I think the person doing the bullying is definitely accountable and responsible for you know everything that they're saying. Um, it's 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 a matter of kind of you know you might think you're joking, but you don't know you know what other people what's going on in other people's lives. Like I said. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally against bullying. Um, you know, it's one of those situations where if I see it, you know, I'll try, again, I'll try to stop it. You know, I, I teach my kids, man, I got that. Um, maybe somebody can help me out. It's uh, that Darmar, what's that YouTube channel that's always like, uh, so you see. You know, you is know, it? No, I have never. I've, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm talking no, about? No, I know. That's constantly playing in my house. Okay. It's either that, or when he's watching some YouTube of these guys opening up basketball packs and yeah. cards and whatnot. But it's it's that. Come on, man. It's that. Um. I I won't know. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I won't maybe, know. Maybe somebody watching. Yeah. It's that Darmar. I think it's Darmar, man. Well, go ahead. Continue Anyways, though. Anyways. You know, they learn at an early age, right? These kids, uh, they pick up on what their parents are doing. You got to understand, people are having more of an impact on on so many others than they Darman, Darman said Cal. Oh, Shout Darman. out to Cal. Shout, Shout out to Conan Cal. Cafe. Darman. Darman, constantly playing, bro. Like, all day. But those are some, like, that's something that I actually, you know... I look at, you know, sometimes when it's playing, I'm like, man, what are they watching? They know these are all actors. And in one scene, you know, it's kind of confusing because in one scene, one person's the good guy, and then in a, a, another uh, channel or another video, they're the bad, bad guy. I keep the good guys, you know, by themselves, like always playing good guy roles, and the bad guys always playing villains, right? Um, but those are always good lessons. Your kids, I mean, I, I was shocked today with Mila. She's being extra nice to me. You know, I, I'm just wondering what happened. She went from being scared and like, as, even if she hears my voice, you know, Tony's here. She goes, hides in the closet and puts a coat over herself, right? And today, you know, she's giving me high fives and whatnot. But, you know, maybe she's seeing something different with you. Maybe all that bottling up, you know, when I was saying, hey, stop picking on the kids and Yusuf and Zach and all that. Maybe that played a role. So, you know, see, you led by example. As soon as she see that mean you, she saw that mean you, you know, started to get along, and you started saying nice things about me in front of her, you know, she, she changed her mindset. So, again, people got to be very careful, um, you know, around their kids, because if, they, if their kids grow up seeing that, and then they're more likely to kind of be doing that themselves. Let me ask you this question, because this is not a question that I had over, uh, written down, but I'm just going to ask you this. When does criticism become bullying? Like, at one point, do you think, like, from... Because there's people out there that says, like, you know, it's just criticism. But then, you know, at what point does it actually become bullying? If you see the, the effect it's having on that person, and it's bringing their energy level down and it's just kind of ruining their spirit, then I think that's when you kind of got to take a step back and say, all right, maybe I shouldn't take this approach. Um, everybody responds in a different way. Um, there's no right way or wrong way, for, you know, in, in a way somebody um, approaches it. I mean, if I, you know, if I only learned one way, us as adults, we got to understand that uh, there's more than one way to go about dealing with the situation. If if I know there's a player, if I'm a coach and I know there's a player that responds to criticism and it just kind of pushes him, you know, to you know try a little bit harder and whatnot, then I know that works for him. But one way ju doesn't work with with everybody. If I feel like that criticism is ta is put uh, having a negative impact on him, and um, you know he's less confident and. You know, he he's he's he wants to quit a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take a step back and say, all right, that's not the way I want to handle that certain you know individual. Yeah, and so a true or false, by the way, I heard this saying. I want to see if you say you agree. The most miserable miserable people in the world are on the internet. True or false? Um, there's a lot of miserable people. Yes, um, they hide behind 
um, you know, fake accounts and whatnot. And, um, you know, all they do is, you know, like I said, they, it's, a, it's a reflection of their lives, you know, like, um, if there's no positive, I hate, I hate negativity. Yeah. Um, I always want to look things in a positive manner. I mean, I think every problem has a solution. Um, you're probably going to have some haters out there that are going to say, no, there are problems that don't have and give examples. But for the majority of things, you know, like for every problem, there's, there's a solution. So whenever there are problems, I like to focus on solutions um, rather than focusing on the problem because now I'm looking at it in a positive light that what can I, get, what can I take out of it? Definitely. So my last thing for you now is just a final word, Tony. Like, what, what do you want to close out on this? Because right now, by the way, you had a, you're at an eight, Tony. So uh, an eight? eight out of ten. I mean, with the over under was eight. I mean, ten. And you said we are at eight. Done. Yeah, I know. So I'm saying we on the so, final word, Tony. So, uh, I mean, here's the thing, right? Here we go. If you're ever down, <laughs> you want to grab a coffee, you know, the light cafe. Located right there over on, on uh, Kanit, right? Uh, right across the street from Ruti Max. Um, <laughs> if they have some, you know, morning, uh, you know, breads, the cheese breads and whatnot. Um, have you tried them, by the way? I have tried them. It's actually, they're actually pretty good. Um, and then, again, uh, Jay is over there. If you ever want to go over there, you know... Um, have some positive energy every morning, you know, he's putting advertisements for a croissant with cheese and eggs and, you know, but again, um, they're open for uh, breakfast, lunch, they close pretty early, so dinner, we already know, Kona Cafe right down the street, if you're going to have traffic, grub in if you're over in Dearborn, um, but while you're doing that, you need to gas up, go to the Exxon over there um, on Kona and Kniff. And stop by for hookah hour. Infinity Drugs. They have a great intern over there. Um, if you feel a little dizzy and lightheaded and you want an eye exam. Boom, Dr. Keller. Doctor for you. Infinity Drugs. What's the, what's the motto over there? What is the motto for Infinity, Infinity Drugs? Come see us. The pharmacy no, your family can trust. Your family can trust. Boom, right there. So, um, who did I And we got Zikiria Hassan saying yes sir. Kone all day, by the way. Kone, that's, that's, uh, Zach, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Zach. Um, shout out to Zach. I mean, he goes around telling everybody he's my favorite nephew, but, you know, I love all my nephews. You know what I'm saying? So, um, That is funny. That is... Um, but Zach is a great guy. Zach, Zach is definitely... Is, Zach is an amazing guy. Yes. Um, shout out to the, you know, all the staff over there. You know, all my guys over there. I got some new guys over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good talk. Like I said, uh, for me, it's... Uh, it's love, man. It's love. At the end of the day, um, it's nothing but, but you know, unfortunately, people do, uh, you know, it, they are affected negatively by that, and uh, that's it. That's pretty much it. I just want to let you know that Zach is going to find a way to edit the video because you use favorite and cousin and his name in the same sentence. Nephew, Nephew I mean. I'm sorry. And now he's going to edit it to where... Favorite nephew, Zekaria, is going to be in the same line, and you just messed up, Tony. Now you're going to have family criticizing you, so no, we're, going to, no. we're going to figure out how you're going to deal with that yeah. in the next couple yeah. of weeks. Well, All we right. have the original video, so... There you go. Um, we're, yeah, we're going to deal with that. Um, I asked for a coffee like 15 minutes ago. We got you some tea, Tony. You got me a tea. We got you got some tea. Cold tea. Co closest to okay. it. Closest to it. Uh, but again... Uh, appreciate motivate me three one three. I mean, it's definitely a topic. I think that uh, you know we're gonna be looking forward to, you know, probably doing a more serious, you know, with you know probably a panel of, of doctors and whatnot. And yeah, that's. There you go, JJ. Just tuned in, JJ. You gotta rewatch the video. We just had like a two minute shout out for the Light Cafe. Easily. But shout out to JJ. Uh, thank you guys for those that watched. Or you know, he wanted to ask a bunch of questions. Um, JJ's the man. We got the LOL League, baby. I don't know. Coach Moti is... You know what, man? It's one of those situations, man. Y'all messed up. If you ever believed in a coach, it's that guy. Hey. We put him there for a reason. Um, we got to find a way to... He's going to devise a plan. All right? It will be the great... The single most, like, greatest 
achievement by any coach in any sport where you win under man. Like, how do you win a championship under man? Moti has been do has been in the lab. He's been doing the work. He, um, you know, gave me a bunch of supplements. I think that's part of the plan. Um, and then that that's it. JJ's ACL, mashallah, subhanallah, miraculously healed with no surgery. Fujo got his toe stomped. He's ready to go. Abdel Nasser, he he said he's ready. He's been in the gym. Hey. Man, I, I don't know what Moti has got planned, but I can't wait. All right, there you guys go. LOL League Wednesday starts eight, well six thirty. Our game. We're on, according to some, on True TV, and only Comcast uh, carries True TV. Is that we so got fifteen, that's, sixteen now? That's that's the that's the league. So. There you go. JJ put LOL by the way. Uh, he's laughing. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, watch the video. Uh, for the most part, we uh, stayed on the topic of bullying, harassment, uh, criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you, Tony, for doing this. I appreciate it. Tony. I didn't mean to make it about me. You know, it's one of those situations. But um, yeah, eight seven five two two three three. That's at Coney Cafe. Um, if you get that, you know the other night we got two lines go straight to the uh, other line. We're not recording no more, Tony. Are you serious? No, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Two four zero Coney. Right next to Sunset Hookah. Um, what else? What else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I think that's everybody. That right? is it. Thank you so much, Tony. Right, I appreciate, appreciate it, it. and uh, thank you guys all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed, everybody. Have all a great right. rest of your week. Peace. My coffee, man. All right. What's up?